Um, it's nice to see you. Happy Wednesday, although it's my Friday. Um, I'm currently on a Sunday through Wednesday uh, schedule, which is amazing, especially on Wednesdays. <laughs> um, so I came home today and I had two boxes on my front porch. As you can see, I am currently opening them, so they are... I have no idea. I was expecting one. I think this one is my scent and warmer of the month for March. And then this one is my Scentsy Club subscription order. So that's exciting. So yeah, not one, but two Scentsy boxes. Okay, so I'm going to start with my scent and warmer of the month. Um, I have seen uh -oh, other people talking about this particular scent and how much they like it. So obviously I'm going to have to make samples for you guys and send them out because it's apparently amazing. So when you're a consultant, you can get the scent of the month for the month, ne the net, the following month, um, early. Of course, March is not that far away. Um, so I of course do that. I get the scent and warmer of the month, every month in advance so that I can share it with you guys so you guys can see what we have. Um, I'm really excited about the warmer this time. Usually I don't keep the warmer. Um, unless I really, really like it. So like last May's says be kind. Obviously I kept that one because that's my jam. It's my thing. But um, for the most part, I don't keep them all. Um, but this one I am going to keep. So this one, it says uh, on the bottom, not for food use, the number four and then Scentsy. So this one is like kind of porous ceramic on the outside, but inside the dish, it's like shiny. And that's just so you can clean the wax out of it. Otherwise it would be all stained and gross. Um, this warmer is an element warmer and it's called Birds of a Feather. You guys, it's so cute. It's so cute. So the whole thing is kind of this porous ceramic white ceramic um and it goes this way although you could probably turn it like a little bit i kind of like it like a little bit sideways but the cord comes out on this side on the side of the nest and then this is the hot plate and it's where the dish sits it's a little bird and it has an led light on the inside so it doesn't use a light bulb to warm the wax sorry about my arm it doesn't use a light bulb to warm the wax it uses the sorry technical difficulties it uses the hot plate to warm the wax however it does have this led light inside that causes the bird to glow so you can see the details in like the feathers and in the nest Okay, so that's the warmer for March. And this warmer is 10% off for the month of March. Um, I think regular price, it's $50 US. So it's uh, at 10% off, it's $45. And then the scent of the month, people are raving about this scent. Um, it's called Pink Sugarberry Mint. I've heard that it does not smell very minty, um, which is good because we're kind of moving out of the wintry season, although I know it, a lot of us still have snow on the ground. Today it was like 60 degrees outside and we all were outside enjoying this lovely, lovely weather. So here's the scent and warmer of the month flyer. It's got the little bird warmer and the scent. It's pink sugarberry mint. So Sensi says that the top notes are plum, raspberry, and strawberry. Already, I'm like, okay, I'm going to like this. The mid notes, peppermint, snowdrop, and peony. So there's like a touch of floral, but like everything so far is really sweet. And the base notes are sugar, coconut, vanilla, and fresh air accord. I think I smelled this in the whiff box, but I don't remember what I thought. Do you guys remember what I thought? I don't remember what I thought. Okay, but we're going to smell it again. So it's a little juicy, my bar. Okay, it is a really sweet, like, cotton candy kind of smell. I can smell the raspberry. I can smell the plum. 
I don't really smell the peppermint. I smell the sugar, the vanilla, and possibly the peony, but faintly. It's a really good blend. It reminds me of the scent sugar a little bit. It's really good. I feel like I have the oils in my fingers now. I'm going to smell like it, but it smells really good. Um, it's probably hard to tell um, from the description what this is actually smells like. But if you've ordered from me in the past 90 days, you will be receiving a sample. So then at least you won't have to wonder anymore. I'm very excited that I received my uh, my Scentsy Club because my Scentsy Club has a bar of Dumbo. Which I don't have any Dumbo bars, but Rowan needs Dumbo for her room. So... That will be getting warmed in Rowie's room. Okay, so my Scentsy Club is a bunch of wax bars plus a whiff box. Because I get my whiff box for half off because I have $60 in Scentsy Club orders. So after $30 in Scentsy Club, you get 10% off. At $60 as your price point, you get the 10% off plus a half price item. So I thought I had removed Rock and Ruby Raz from my Scentsy Club because now it's back in the catalog, but I got a bar of it, so I'm gonna have to go back through my Scentsy Club. So I got two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 bars of wax today. I'm not gonna tell you what Scentsy has to say about these scents. A lot of them are no longer available. I think most of them are no longer available, but I will tell you kind of what they smell like to me. So this is Taste of Summer. This smells like sweet tea with lemon. And I love it. It reminds me of Sarah. It's very lemony. It's a very sweet iced tea. I'm doing wax and wine today, by the way. If you guys are drinking wine, I hope you are. Um, there will be a uh, Sarah's Acts of Kindness happy hour tomorrow at 5. Over Zoom uh, for the wine fundraiser. So if you are in it. I hope to see you tomorrow. This one is Monsters Inc. Monstropolis. Mm, okay, so this one smells like it's fresh and fruity at the same time. It's like it kind of smells like Fabuloso, like the cleaning product. If Fabuloso had like a plummy, fruity scented variety. This is Fearless by Nature. It's a Frozen 2 collection scent. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to get. This is also a very clean, soapy, like maybe a little bit of bergamot kind of situation in there. I love it, though. It's very clean. Here it is. This one's going in Rowie's room. This is Rowan's signature scent. It just discontinued at the end of January. It's Dumbo and Circus Parade. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is this one of my very favorites. Um, I did get, I've got a couple more um, scent packs coming because they were in the clearance section and I could not resist. My clearance section box will be here soon and I'm excited to show you guys what is coming. I don't even know anymore what's coming. Um, we got a bar of marshmallow mint. Oh, I really love this. Okay, so not, I don't love all the mint fragrances but this one it's like the marshmallow is just enough to like offset the mint and it keeps it smelling fresh and um, like cool it smells like a January scent to me um, although I think that's what's warming downstairs right now in the area that I'm sitting in um, but I like it cutie pie mm -hmm. cupcake cutie pie cupcake is delightful it kind of smells a little bit like fruit bowl, fruit loops. Um, Lisa, it doesn't smell like vanilla mint. Um, marshmallow mint is more like spearmint. It's like a sweet uh, spearmint. It's like spearmint gum plus that marshmallow note. So it's not, I feel like vanilla mint is like vanilla and maybe peppermint or something like a sharper mint. This is like a sweet mint. Cashmere pear. I don't know that I'm gonna keep this in my club for long either. Just enough to get a few bars um, to have on hand, and then I think I'm probably gonna take it out 
because you know you don't want your Cincy Club to get too crazy. Painted leaves. This is such a great scent. This one reminds me of like walking through the fall, through the woods. There's a lot of tree notes, but it's like a fall, not a, like a wintry tree, because obviously in the winter is when you expect to smell a lot of tree scents in your home. Um, it's not like a iced pine or a very snowy spruce. That's definitely wintry tree. It's like a, it's like a fall tree. It's like when the leaves fall and then they get like wet a little bit, which doesn't sound appealing. It doesn't sound like necessarily like something you want your house to smell like, but you kind of do. Um, sweet plum pastry. This one was in the most recent bring back my bar. Um, so was painted leaves. So was cashmere pear. Sweet plum pastry. It's very sweet. Um, it's very delightful. This to me, I get a lot of the plum. I don't get coconut. I think that's one of the scent notes in here. And then I don't really get the pastry that much. It's just sweet plum. But I, um, if you mix it, you can add the pastry. I have mixed it with breakfast in bed, which has a plum pastry pumpkin thing. Um, highly recommend mixing it with, with breakfast in bed. Um, it would be excellent mixed with sugar cookie. It would be excellent mixed with vanilla bean buttercream. It would be excellent mixed with vanilla waves, the new scent. Um, sweet plum pastry is a great mixer. It's also good on its own, but it's not, it doesn't have that bakery note as much. It doesn't have like that crust. Um, I feel like, what is it? Um, like there's other scents like that where like cherry almond pie smells like cherries and almonds, but not necessarily pie. Like you don't get any of the pie crust in that. Um, but it's still delightful. It doesn't mean that I don't love cherry. Like if that ever comes back and I bring back my bar, I'm going to add it to my Scentsy Club. Ooh, Kristen says mix sweet plum pastry with almond croissant and that would be a very good one. If you're looking for a real pastry note, you're not gonna get it in sweet plum pastry. Like it's sweet and it's plum. It's definitely a bakery scent because it does smell like sweet plums, but there's no like butter. There's no like flour. Also, hi. Hi, Kristen. It's good to see you. Um, next up is from the Mix It collection, Grapefruit Orange, and it smells like grapefruits and orange. It's such a great citrus, clean citrus delightfulness. And it is good for mixing. I like mixing. I like the Mix It collection for that. I have taken the rest of them out of my Scentsy Club, but that one remains. It doesn't last a super long time. So this one's back in the catalog. I'm going to take this out of my club. I did not realize it was still in there. I thought I had already removed everything that was back. This is Rockin' Ruby Raz. It was in the Easter collection last year. It's beautiful pink wax. And it smells like raspberry candy. It's super sugary sweet. It's not an authentic raspberry. It's not like eating raspberries. It's like eating raspberry Jolly Ranchers. Um, Johnny Appleseed. This is an authentic apple. This is great if you have a scent that you want to put apple in. So if you had something like say cinnamon bear and it was too hot and spicy for you you could add this and you'd have apple and cinnamon um something like bright cider life if you wanted to make this more apple-y you could add johnny apple seed and you would have a more bright apple-y apple cider um it can mix with almost anything that you want to add a lot of apple to because it is it's straight apple um so it's going to give you just apple and this bright cider life is delightful you guys this was in the harvest collection last fall and it's wonderful this one will always be in my club I have a lot of bars of this uh, it's kind of backing up I don't care um, I will just have I get one every month I love happy birthday it smells like cake batter to me it doesn't smell like an actual cake um, it smells like the dough I don't care. I love it. I'm going to have it. I didn't warm it that much because I don't often want my house to smell like a cake, but when I do, I want it to smell like happy birthday. All right. And then, and then, last but not least, because we still have more. There's still more, guys. What is going on? 
I've just got so much wax now that I just don't even know what to do with it all, to be honest. I got the whiff box. Okay, so let's talk about what's in this whiff box. Change things up. On the back, it says our new spring and summer 2021 catalog is inspired by the changes in our everyday lives. There is so much beauty that can come from change. It can lead us to discovering new passions, new ways to express ourselves, new opportunities, or new strengths if we choose to embrace it. Your February whiff box includes some of our favorite new products and fragrances, plus a copy of the new catalog to browse. Welcome to spring, summer 2021. And so inside it is how to make a fortune teller, which is basically one of those like little things that we used to play with in school. Um, okay, with box time. So first, there is a new catalog. If you are my mailing list, you probably already received one in the mail. They're great. It's a beautiful new catalog. These with boxes are $30 um, full price. However, if you get them through your Scentsy Club, you can get them for half price. I've got a scent circle and sand swept. I'm curious to try this. I actually am going to try this because I warmed the wax bar and I liked the scent, but it wasn't strong enough for me. Um, so the scent description for Sandswept, I just happen to have it here, is blue ocean water breaks on the coastline over sandstone, driftwood, and pink lemon groves. So the bar, it smells great in the clamshell, but when it was warm, I could hardly smell it. So I'm curious to see how the scent circle does. Um, I like the scent. I like the lemoniness of that scent. It's very, it's like beachy plus citrus. It's like beach plus lemon. And so I feel like it's possible that, although the bar is super weak, maybe I could try, hey hon, um, okay. like a room spray, and that might work better. Okay, so we got a bar of red pear and pomegranate, which was the send of the month this month, I think? Send of the month for February. Mm, I still really like that one. That's a good, fruity, strong scent. All right, we've got a hand cream and watermelon tangerine. I might bring this one to work. We're going to see about that. We got a bar of Magnolia Linen, which I just recently reviewed for you guys. Let me tell you the scent notes. Sun-washed linen dances in the breeze amid the guard of magnolia and honeysuckle. So this one is a very fresh laundry scent. It's floral. It smells like floral laundry. It's beautiful. I warmed a whole bar of it. It smells delightful. It's strong and good. And then the two scent cups we got were Oh Snapdragon, which of course you guys can't read because it's first of all, it's backwards, and then I had it upside down. And the scent of the month, Pink Sugarberry Mint for next month. And then we got a sugar scrub in Luna. So, so much amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So I think the next haul that I will get will be the clearance section one, which I could not resist. And I got Rowan a Minnie Mouse warmer because I don't love the new Minnie warmers that are the, with the, just the head. The, it's like the classic Minnie and Mickey and it's the head and it's enclosed. Let me, let me pull it out. Okay. So it's like this and they're super cute, right? Classic Mickey and Minnie. However, when you close them off like this, where the dish is inside, it makes it hard for the scent to throw. So I prefer warmers where the, um, where it's open to the air, right? So you put the wax in and you can see the wax from outside. And, um, the, old school Minnie and Mickey warmers from last catalog season. It was the classic curve warmer with like a Mickey or a Minnie kind of standing in front of it. And, um, and I prefer that style a lot more. So when I saw that in the clearance section, I was like, Oh shoot. Well, now I've got to get Rowan the Minnie Mouse warmer from the, that version. I wanted that version. So anyway, so I got to that warmer. And then I got a bunch of bars. 
and I don't even know what else to be honest. So I guess it'll be a surprise for me when we get it and you guys will get to enjoy that. Um, what else? Oh, it's time to vote for bring back my buddy. And, uh, Twiggy the turtle is in there and I have, let me go grab him for you. Let me show you Twiggy the turtle. So I thought he was over here. Huh. Guys, I lied to you. I lied. I don't know where he is. He's around here somewhere. Um, so Sarah had a Twiggy, the turtle. And he is somewhere around. I thought he was in the pile of turtles. There's three stuffed turtles over there on Sarah's bed. And I was like, oh yeah, Twiggy's over there. And he's not. And I He's probably under the bed where he's fallen. Um, so Sarah got Twiggy the turtle from Lisa back in the day. Lisa was Sarah's Sunsy dealer. And um, Sarah has a thing for turtles. You may or may not have noticed that. And so she had ordered Twiggy and loves him, loved him dearly. And in fact, there's a turtle here. It's like a little handcrafted in Ecuador turtle like there's turtles everywhere um so Sarah had a Twiggy so I voted for him um but I also voted for the bee there's like a bumblebee one and Sarah comes around as a bumblebee sometimes so it's like well I guess I'm gonna have to vote for that then there's a mouse one that I was like, this is so super cute. You guys may know I work with mice in biomedical research. So I also voted for the mouse. Um, really, really cute Sensi Buddies to vote for. Um, so check out tankthestank.sensi.us, um, my website, to vote for your favorite buddies that you would like them to bring back. Um, what else is new? I don't know. The clearance sale, guys, still check out clearance because there's a ton of stuff that got listed. Hopefully it's not all sold out. Um, really, really good stuff. Like, so much good stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think. They had, like, body care in there. Um, I don't remember if I saw laundry. I did see cleaning products, Scentsy Bars. There's a ton of stuff in the clearance section, so... Hopefully some of that stuff is still available. Hop on there, tankthestank.sensi.us and um, check out the clearance section. Definitely uh, check out the voting for Bring Back My Buddy. Um, the buddies are so cute. I Like I said, I got Rowie Bailey the bunny for our Easter. So just remember if you've got Easter baskets to stuff, Scentsy Buddies are amazing. Um... I don't think I have any other announcements other than that. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Happy Wednesday. It's 8-11. It's a good time. It's I'm just excited that my work week is over. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.